Hello and welcome to today's video. We have the schematic here for the bidirectional book boost converter, my crude hand drawn schematic. Uh, for these contactors, we need, uh, if, if we close them, we're going to charge up these big caps and we'd have a bunch of inrush current. We could weld the contacts on the uh, contactors. So, what we need to do is pre charge. Um, so, this is the pre charge circuit. Again, another crude hand drawn thing. So, here's my contactor up here. And this will be, you know, incoming voltage, outgoing voltage, that kind of a thing, because it's bidirectional, right? And you can see I've got a couple MOSFETs in here, and this is the precharge resistor. And so if we just have, if these guys are off, the current can't go through this diode, and it can't go through the contactor, so it's dead there. And if the current tries to go this way, it can't go through that diode. So we turn these guys on. Uh, I actually have individual control over them, but um, this is drawn as if it's uh, simultaneous. We're going to turn them both on and then that will allow current either direction to flow through the resistor, charge up those big caps uh, on either side, and then once that's fully charged we're, we're able to sense that they're both um, you know, within reason of each other and then we can close the contactor and then shut these guys off. So all the current's actually flowing through here and we won't have any inrush current and we won't uh, weld the contacts. Uh, so we've got it built up, um, we've got a, we're sense, this is a high voltage one, so we're trying to sense 550 volts, convert that down to 5, and so we've got a 510K and 4.7K. Now that would be dangerous to have that much voltage across one single resistor, so it's actually built out of 10 51K resistors in series, and then we've got our little 4.7K down there. And for the low voltage side, it's the same exact circuit, but we have four 4.7Ks in series with a 1K to convert um, 100 volts down to 5 volts. And there's the schematic, and this is the finished product. So we've got a, this is a 50 ohm uh, resistor. Actually, we'll leave this up. We can go over all the parts here. Uh, let's go like that. There we go. You can kind of see it. So, of course, these are the big MOSFETs up here. This resistor here, it's 50 ohms, it's this big guy, it's a 50 watt resistor. This um, voltage sense on this side you can see is this big resistor chain here. And then coming off of this connector will be uh, 5 volts in ground when we've got 550 volts coming in on, on this wire to ground. And same on this side, it's the exact same circuit. And then these, are our, these guys right here are two uh, uh, photovoltaic MOSFET drivers. And what they do is they've um, essentially got little, uh, actually, it's not quite drawn this way, but um, I have the data sheet up here so it can cheat. It's actually made up of, you can see here, there's a LED and it shines on essentially a solar cell. And that generates a voltage across here. It's not very much, hardly any voltage at all. Well, actually, it, it's hardly any current, but it's definitely, it can get to generate a voltage. And so on mine, I have uh, both of these uh, the LEDs in series, so pin two and three are connected together, so we'd have uh, current flowing through that way. I'm going to use a 12 volts through a 1K resistor, and that'll generate about 10 milliamps-ish. And then uh, on the other side here, I've actually connected these in parallel to double my current. And if we scroll down, we can see that... Um, open circuit voltage is typically around 10 to 13 to 15 volts but we are not going to be doing open circuit so we act otherwise your MOSFET would never turn off right so as soon as you remove this you charge up that capacitor on the MOSFET and then it would still be conducting so you have to put a resistor across there and with a with what I've got with both of them in parallel and the fact that we're only going to be at 10 milliamps here are going to be getting about 3.4 microamps, so times 2, so I get about, you know, 6.8 microamps, and I've got a 1 meg resistor across there, which means we'll be getting, yep, 6.8 volts, so, typical. <laughs> Worst case, we'll be getting about 5.1 volts, and then, uh, best case, we'll be getting, uh, well, we won't get that high. I guess technically we could get to 28 volts, but the gate's good to 30, so we should be fine. 
So we've got that going on. Um, the MOSFET that we're using is the uh, AOK uh, 42S60. It is a 600 volt 39 amp power MOSFET. And you can see it's VGS is good to plus or minus 30 volts, which should be good there. And it only takes, once we get above 3.8 volts, it's fully on. So worst case, we got 5 volts, so we should be good with that guy. And uh, so you can kind of see down in here, on my schematic here, I've got the little, there's a little 1 meg across there. And it's buried down in I guess you can't really, you can kind of see them. One meg across each one, right there and right there. And you might be saying, oh, well, that's kind of weird. You got these two little mounting holes here. And uh, I did actually build up the other one. And ta-da, it gets mounted to the side of the contactor. So there's a couple little screws that hold the power saver that's on the contactor, and we just uh, was able to uh, <laughs> just use those screws to mount it up right on there. So we're in the same height as the contactor, and these guys will get ring terminals, and then they'll just attach across either side of the contactor. Now, of course, the ring terminals that I have, they don't fit, <clears throat> and Yes, I could just go and drill them out, but if you've ever tried to drill out one of these, they're really hard to hold when you're dealing with these bigger drill holes. And, uh, yeah, they usually end up getting boogered up anyway, so it's just easier to go buy the correct ones. So that's what I'm going to do. Get the correct ones in here. And then uh, go ahead and uh, put those in the bidirectional buck boost con converter. Uh, the con this contactor is actually not from it, it's got its own set. Uh, this is a spare. And uh, let's see. Oh, uh, uh, so off of this terminal here will be uh, 0 to 5 volts, given 0 to 550 volts. And then same with this terminal. And then uh, uh, 12 volts, which is current limited uh, from the DMOC adapter. It was designed to drive some LEDs anyway, and that's what I'm doing here. Uh, from each of those would get me 10 milliamps across here. Well, yeah, 10 milliamps across here, which then turns on this FET, and same the other side. So I think all that's uh, ready to go. Um, tested it. Definitely doesn't connect <laughs> contact unless you turn it on. So I'll go ahead and mount those guys in there, and that might be the next video. I don't know. Uh, see what it looks like. Anyways, thanks for watching.